Thousands of Muslim boys and men gather in Hampshire to celebrate their communion with Allah as taught by the Holy Prophet of Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association UK held their 44th national congregation, known as the National Ishtama, from Friday 23rd to Sunday 25th September 2016. The three-day flagship event brought together members of the Youth Association from all across the UK to the grounds of Old Park Farm in Kingsley, Hampshire. The site is located close to Hadik al Mahdi, where the Ahmadiyya Muslim community holds their annual convention, known as Jalsa Salana, each year. This year, the National Ishtama was held at the new site, Old Park Farm, a large farmland located in Kingsley, in the East Hampshire district of Hampshire, England. The new site of the Ishtama has been found to accommodate the growing needs of the annual event and the community. The site is also planned to be used for the National Ishtamas of Lajna Emaila UK, the Women's Association, and Majlis Ansarullah UK, the Elders Association. The event began with the Friday prayer, led by the worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, may Allah be his helper, from the Bayt al Mosque in Surrey, which was relayed to the Ishtama site via satellite broadcast on MTA International. The event was formally inaugurated with the welcome address by the National President of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community UK, Mr. Rafiq Ahmad Hayat. This year's event was themed around the communion with Allah, highlighting the community's teaching to its members around fulfilling the rights of God. Various sporting and academic events took place throughout the event, with participants from all age groups taking part with full zeal. Attendees were able to take advantage of other forms of educational entertainment offered in the National Ishtama, ranging from a discovery zone to a 24-hour library. The highlight of this event was the presence of the worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community for all three days, and not only leading all five of the obligatory prayers, but also taking part in various events throughout the Ishtama. On Saturday, His Holiness, the worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, may Allah be his helper, performed the flag hoisting ceremony with a congregational silent prayer. Following this, a special lunch was held with His Holiness and many senior distinguished guests. Over 4,000 attendees sat with His Holiness and enjoyed an exquisite meal. On the final day, the closing session of the Ishtama was graced with the presence of His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, may Allah be his helper. This session was broadcast live via satellite across the globe on MTA International from the Ishtama site at Old Park Farm in Kingsley. The session began with the recitation of the Holy Qur'an, followed by an event report by the National President of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association UK, Mr Mirza Waqas Ahmad. National President of the Youth Association was delighted to inform His Holiness that organisers had worked rigorously in preparation of this event. Even faced with the challenge of a new site, the organisers had built a site even better than that of previous years. His Holiness presented prizes to competition winners of the various sporting and academic challenges. The award for the highest achieving Qiyadat in the UK, the al Nami, was awarded to Sheffield Qiyadat. His Holiness delivered an inspirational address to the participants of the Ishtama, reminding members of their responsibility as Ahmadi Muslims to build a strong communion with God Almighty. His Holiness explained that this was only achieved through fulfilling the rights of God Almighty and fulfilling the rights of fellow human beings. The reality is that our acceptance of the problem of Sayyid al-Islam is meaningless if we do not strive to fulfill the purpose for which he was sent by Allah the Almighty. <clears throat> and what were the purposes for his advent? What were his objectives? 
simply put, it was for his followers to bring about pure and righteous changes within themselves by fulfilling the rights of Allah the Almighty and of his creation. His Holiness concluded the Ishtama with a congregational silent prayer. This report is brought to you from MTA International, UK Studios in London.